Hi, I'm Angie Cummings from Sussex and KV Sleep Clinic, and today I want to talk about cleaning your CPAP equipment. So, CPAP is the treatment for sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is when you stop breathing in your sleep, and the best treatment for it, it just fixes it, uh, is CPAP, Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. It involves wearing a mask on your face when you're sleeping, and it delivers air into your throat to keep your throat open. It keeps you breathing at night exactly the way you do during the day so you're not constantly waking up out of your deep sleep and disturbing your sleep causing you to feel tired the next day and also causing cardiovascular problems. So your equipment at home does need a little bit of care. It doesn't take a lot of time but it is essential. So I'm going to show you the different components that you have and how you should be washing them. So I like to start when I'm thinking about cleaning my CPAP gear, because I wear it too, I snore very, very heavily, um, I start at my face. So I'm going to show you my mask. This is the mask that I wear. These are the straps. They connect with magnets. And so every mask that you wear involves a little piece that goes on your nose and it involves headgear that goes on your face. This little mask comes with an extra foot of tubing too to make things a little bit easier, but uh, they don't all, but they always involve a little piece that goes on your face and headgear. So how do you wash this and how often? The little nose piece you should be washing every day. Now, we don't all wash our gear as much as we're supposed to, but uh, every day is the recommended amount for your little nose piece. Generally, there's a way that it pops off with mine. I just fit my thumb right here in this little opening by my mask, stick my thumb in, and my little uh, cushion that fits on my nose like that pops right off. Now, the way you wash this is you just take it under the tap, you get a little bit of liquid soap on your fingers. I like to use a dish soap, it's called Down East and it's an organic soap. You can buy it at in the organic section at the Superstore and at Sobeys. It's actually made in Nova Scotia, which is really important um, to support local. It's um, got absolutely no scent to it at all, which I like for cleaning my CPAP gear. So you get a little bit on your fingers, you rub it all over your mask, all inside, get a bit of uh, warm water, rub that all around, make it nice and sudsy, and then you rinse it out really good under the water. All you have to do then is just prop it somewhere to dry. You should be doing that every day. If you're not doing it every day, you have to do it at least once a week. And in between, you can buy little CPAP mask wipes. Um, you can get them at where you buy your CPAP equipment, and you can just give it a wipe every day, and that keeps it sort of clean until you get through with some soap to clean it once a week. With your headgear, you should be cleaning this once a month um, or as needed. Some people have oilier hair or they have uh, skin particles that rub off on it a lot, but at least once a month. You submerge it in warm soapy water and give it a really good scrub together like this. Rinse it really, really good and then what I do is take a towel and I squeeze the headgear in the towel. It almost dries it that way, and then you just hang it up somewhere for the rest of the day. It's a good idea to uh, wash it in the morning. That way it'll be dry by that night. Now we're gonna get into your hose. So after you move from your face, the next part of the circuit is your hose. So I'm gonna show you my hose. This is my hose. They're all about six feet long. Some of them have a little electrical connection at one end to heat the little tube. In, inside the tube, there's a little wire that heats up to prevent any condensation in some of them. Um, you wanna make sure you keep your thumb over that electrical connection to keep the water out, or when you're done, you wanna tap it out on a paper towel, stick the paper towel inside, give it a really good blow, dry it out, make sure there's no water in that before you plug it back in if you accidentally got some water in it. So, what you do with your hose, and I'm actually going to take my extra little piece of tubing that came on my mask, and I'm gonna connect it right to my hose, okay? So what I do is I do up a little tub of water, warm, soapy water, 
I get one end of my hose in there, get some water in there, and then you just kind of go like this back and forth to get water all through your hose. Um, you can even take and put a little drip of dish soap down one end, put it under the tap or under the tap in the tub and flush warm water through it and leave it sit for a little while. Then you rock it back and forth, take it under the tap then and rinse it really, really good. You'll then want to hang it up over the shower head just to sort of drip dry for the day. Now, the last part, oh, I should tell you your hose you should do once a week as well, okay? So mask once a week, hose once a week, and the last part and most more important part is your water chamber. So I'm going to show you my water chamber. This is one type of water chamber. I have lots of different machines. Um, uh, I've been on CPAP for a lot of years, so I have a lot of different machines. This is just the chamber that I happen to grab. So some of these chambers have a lid that pops right off of them like that. And then uh, what you do is put a little dish soap in it, soak it for a little while, get in with a scrubby thing and uh, either a dish towel or a dish rag, or what I like to use is those little plastic scrubbies that you can get at the dollar store, and you get in there and scrub it really, really good, rinse it, and leave it somewhere to dry, okay? Do the same with your lid. Some humidifiers, the newer ones, don't even have a lid on them, which is wonderful. You can put them in the top rack of the dishwasher and put them through the uh, uh, regular cycle, leave the drying cycle off, you don't wanna warp them, but put it in the top rack, and you should do that once a week as well, okay? Um, so now you know how to clean your mask, clean your hose, clean your humidifier, and now your filters. Most machines have two filters in them. There's a filter that you wash, which should be washed once a month, and there's a disposable filter. That disposable filter should be thrown out every two to three months and a new one put on. This is going to keep the inside of your machine nice and clean. It's not going to get all gummed up with sticky particles that are floating through the air and pollen, and it's going to keep you a lot healthier. Uh, there are other cleaning options. You probably have heard of the So Clean machine, which is a wonderful device. It works... Um, for keeping your gear super duper clean. It runs through a cleaning cycle every day. You'll see that in a subsequent video. I'm gonna get in and show you how that works and I'll tell you all the science behind it. Um, but the key to keeping healthy with your gear is to keep it nice and clean. Um, that way it's working properly and your breathing is working properly. So uh, I hope you have a great day and I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to clean your equipment. Bye.